How's it going, YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to be doing a Photon slash Galaxy deck profile because in my last deck profile, uh, you guys told me that you would rather see a Photon deck than a Gravekeeper's deck. So I'm doing the Photon deck today, and uh, basically it's a Photon deck that's going to be focused on bringing out rank 8 Exceed monsters. So I'm going to show you how I built this deck, starting with the monsters. So, three Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. This is your main card in your deck. He special summons from your hand, deck, or graveyard by various methods. And he also has a pretty good effect with 3000 attack, but he is mostly used for just going into rank 8s. Galaxy Knight, we have three of him. Uh, he can be normal summoned without tributing if you control a Galaxy or a Photon monster. And uh, if you do that, you get to special summon a Galaxy Eyes uh, Photon Dragon from your graveyard in defense position. So. Free rank 8 exceed play there. So we have 3 Galaxy Wizard. This is a searcher for the deck. It searches out Galaxy cards, but it can also um, change its level to level 8 until the end phase. So that's a very good effect because you just normal summon it and change its level to 8 and then exceed with another level 8 that you have on the field. 3 Photon Thrasher. Don't need to explain this guy because he pops up in a lot of different decks. We also have two Photon Crusher. He's just a 2,000 beater. Um, most people don't run him, but there's a good combo that you can do with him and Photon Thrasher, so I'm going to show you that when I get to the extra deck. We've got Honest, because there's tons of light monsters, obviously. Gores, Trag, and one Light and Darkness Dragon, because you can summon him in this deck fairly easily. So That's it for the monsters. Going on to spells, we got a lot of spells in this deck. We're going to start with 2 Galaxy Expedition. Uh, this is if you control a level 5 or higher Photon or Galaxy monster, you get a special 1 level 5 or higher Photon or Galaxy monster from your deck. So it has to go in defense mode so it can't attack this turn, but it can be used for an exceed play and it's just wonderful. Excel Light, I got 2 of it. Um, it's If you control no monsters, you special summon a level 4 or lower Photon or Galaxy monster from your deck. Um, you can only activate one of this card per turn, and you can't normal summon on the turn that you use this card. So it does kind of suck that you can't normal summon on the turn that you use this card, but a good play with this is bring out Galaxy Wizard, use Galaxy Wizard's effect to make it level 8, and then use Galaxy Expedition to bring out another level 8 from your deck and then exceed. And thereby you didn't normal summon this turn, all your summons were specials, and you still get out a rank 8 exceed monster. Okay, 2 Galaxy Zero. This is kind of like the premature burial for Photon or Galaxy monsters, except the monster you bring back can't attack or use its effects. But it's good for exceed plays. We've got 2 Photon Sanctuary. This brings out 2 tokens, and these tokens can be used to tribute for light monsters if you want. So you can tribute them for Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon to actually special him from your hand due to his effect. Or you can use them to tribute summon Light and Darkness Dragon, uh, which is really good. We run three trade-ins for draw power because there are seven level eights in this deck and sometimes you need to discard them. Mostly the only one that you actually need in your hand really um, is Galaxy Knight. The rest of them you can just chuck out because they're good in the graveyard. So we have My Body as a Shield to protect your monsters. I think protection is really useful in this deck and uh, I'm kind of thinking about running Forbidden Lance. I don't at the moment, but it would be a good choice for this deck. So I have one Photon Trident. This is kind of a tech choice. Um, it gains 700 attack to a Photon monster until the end phase. Uh, they also gain piercing damage, and if they do inflict battle damage to your opponent, you get to pop a spell or trap card. So, it, it, it's a good card. It is quick play, so it can surprise your opponents, but um, you definitely can run something like Forbidden Lands instead of it. Mystical Space Typhoon times 2. 1 Book of Moon. And 1 Dark Hole. So, uh, that's going to be the spells here. Going on to traps now, it's going to be a really quick trap lineup because we have so many spells in the deck to eat up space. Morning, Mirror Force, Torrential, Compulse, and Bottomless. So, um, another way I was thinking of making this deck actually, and I'd like to know your you guys' opinion on this, is do you think instead of these traps, should I be running three Royal Decree and then maybe put something like two Lances in instead of the other two? I think that would be a really good idea for this deck because back row does hurt this deck quite a bit. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that. Anyway, that's the main deck. We're going on to the extra deck now. So, two Divine Dragonite Felgrand. This guy is the one you want to be making most of the time. Um, honestly, you could even bump this up to three. I think two is probably enough. 
if you make two Felgrands in a game and your opponent gets over both of them, you're probably destined to lose the duel anyway. So, um, anyway. But, yeah, if you have three, go for three. You could maybe replace one of these two guys. So I have two Galaxy Eyes Tachian Dragon. This is a really good card, but I don't make them too often, so I think one is probably enough here. So like I said, if you have another Felgrand, switch one of these out for a Felgrand. I'll see the Sylvan High Protector, just one of him. Uh, he can top or bottom deck your opponent's cards, so that's pretty good. Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Needs three level eights to make him, but massive 4,500 attack and just destroys Exceed monsters on your opponent's side of the field. So, uh, really good card. Okay, so for rank 4s, Paladynamo, because my monsters are light and he's just good. This is the reason I run Photon Crusher, it's Star Lord Lord Galaxion. He needs two Photon monsters, level 4, to make him. But, uh, so basically it's, you special summon Thrasher, normal summon Crusher, and make him. And then, his effect, you discard both of his Exceed materials, and you get the special summon Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from your deck. So, him plus Galaxy Eyes, that's 5,000 attack power right there. Um, that's a lot of life points if your opponent has a clear field, so I think it's a pretty good combo. So we got one Blade Armor Ninja for the same reason that we have Galaxy on. There's two level fours uh, warriors. You can make them, but I feel like going into Galaxy on and using the combo that I just described is kind of better than just Blade Armor Ninja poking twice. So, so some more generic stuff here. We've got Honor Arc because he's just good taking your opponent's monsters. We got Photon Path Operative. Maestroke, Cowboy, Diamond Dire Wolf, Black Ship, and then Abyss Dweller. And that's it for the extra deck. Okay, so that's the end of the deck profile. So I definitely would like to know what you guys think of this deck. Um, as I said before when I was going over the traps, Royal Decree is definitely an option for this deck, and I'd like to know what you guys think about that. So let me know in the comment section below if you think uh, running three Royal Decrees and maybe like another MST and some Lances or something would be a better idea for this deck. Or if you think that traps are just too good and you need to keep some in the deck, uh, definitely let me know. And if you have any other suggestions for the deck, I'd also be interested in hearing them. So again, put them in the comment section below. And uh, if you guys like this deck, leave a like on the video. That's greatly appreciated. And if you're not subscribed already and you'd like to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! content, definitely hit that subscribe button. I will be coming out with more deck profiles in the near future. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.